everybody, this is Jean and I am now going to take the Scotch oven which we made on uh, our last video post and my last vlog post. And we're going to take a fire starter which I made two video posts ago and we're going to use both to bake key lime squares which I am a key lime freak. Uh, so we're going to take it one step at a time and the first step is going to be to heat the charcoal. So you may recall that we made these fire starters. They're egg carton and paraffin wax and disgusting old dryer lint. And I've put one of those at the base of my cylinder. And now the question is, how much charcoal do I need? Well, it turns out that one brick of charcoal is the equivalent of 40 degrees Fahrenheit once it's hot and ready. My recipe calls for a 350 degree oven. So I need nine of these puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is my charcoal on top of it? And we're gonna let that go to town until those briquettes are ready and hot ready to cook. And in the meantime, I'm going to go whip up the uh, whip up the actual ingredients for the key lime tarts. There we go. The coals are really going at it. They are really starting to light up in there. The fire starter is working beautifully and we're just waiting for those to be ready so that we can throw them into our scotch oven. There it is. There's the uh, key lime the key lime squares that are in our 8x8 pan ready to go into the Dutch oven, which is right below it. So I'm going to put those in first, and then we're going to transport some hot coals over to get the oven going. So I've just taken the coals out of there and with tongs and carefully put them into this baking pan, and our nine coals are steaming and hot and ready to go. They are going into the base of the Scotch oven. Let me move this over. So now you can see we've got the coals on the bottom. We've got the uh, pan with the, the cake mix on the top. And now we're gonna close the door just like this. And if you remember, you can see that there's this gap where the air wants to come in. We wanna close that up during cooking, minimize that gap. We don't wanna cut out all oxygen, but we wanna minimize that gap. So we just simply put a stone there. And there it is. The Scotch oven is baking away and I am now going to set the timer for 26 minutes, according to the recipe. Hey everybody, it's Jean, and it has been 26 minutes since we put uh, the coals into our scotch oven to bake our key lime squares. I have to say, I, I've been wondering the entire time if this is going to work, but a couple of minutes ago, it started to smell like a really good kitchen right here. So. I'm really impressed with this primitive technology's capacity to do this. Friends, the moment of truth is here. We're going to see what we've baked. First, I'm going to take out the hot coals, what's left of them, and I'm going to take them over to the uh, to a little barbecue so they can cool off. Here we go. The briquettes have been removed to cool. And oh my gosh, look at that. That looks like a complete, yep, that looks done to me. So here's what we're gonna do. The recipe says it needs to cool for about an hour before you cut it, and that's what I'm gonna do. This is hot. I need to definitely, definitely uh, need to take that in and let that cool on a rack. Okay, so. Uh so let's find out how these taste. They've been cooling for about an hour and I've put some um, powdered sugar on them and now of course the question is how do they taste? They baked fine. Let's see. No? That is a key lime square with one difference. You can taste the charcoal. So put it this way. It works perfectly. The technology works. And if it's something that you're going to bake that you don't mind the taste of charcoal in, <laughs> I'd say run with it. And of course, everything tastes great when you're camping. And 
I'm not camping right now. <laughs> I'm definitely demonstrating. But seriously, uh, I did not use a mosquito. I used regular charcoal, but I can taste the charcoal in this. And there is that sort of campy scent, shall we say, that, that overtone, that note in the uh, key lime. That isn't necessarily complimentary. I mean, I'll eat these, no question about it. But I would definitely bear in mind that your scotch oven is going to make things taste a little like, you know, the great outdoors. So that's it. That's how you bake in a scotch oven. <laughs>